In this video, we're gonna be building this section that could be used for a process section or a timeline with a moving bar that moves as you scroll. It might look complicated to build, but it's actually pretty simple. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it step by step. By the way, you can get this exact template at Premix UI. You can simply click on it, copy it, and use it on your project. We also have different process and timeline modules that you can freely use on your website. Okay, so right here, I have a framer project. I've just added some textiles and some color styles that are pretty simple, just dark, white, and a gray color with some heading styles that I have created. Okay, so we're gonna be replicating this exact design and you can find this Figma file in the link in the description. So first up, we're gonna start with the simple things. Let's just add this headline. So I'm just gonna add a frame. I'm clicking F on my keyboard to add a frame. I'm gonna set it to fill. I'm gonna add a layout, it's gonna be vertical. We're gonna have a max width and this is, let's see what width this is. This is actually 864 pixels. So I'm gonna set a max width of 864, just like that. I'm gonna remove the fill, I'm gonna add some padding. So let's add like 120 on top, 20 on the right, 120 on the bottom and 20 on the left side. And now I'm just gonna click T on my keyboard and I'm gonna copy this process text. I'm going to paste it right here and I'm going to select my pre-heading style that I have previously created. I'm going to set the width to fill and now I'm just going to duplicate this. I'll copy the headline. I'll paste the text and I'm going to add my heading to style. You can, by the way, you can just see the heading uh, settings that I have right here and the pre-heading settings that I have for the font. So we can copy these. And now we also have a small description. So I'm gonna copy that, paste it right here, and I'm gonna use the P16 style. So that's the settings, you can pause and copy them. Now I'm gonna select all three of these layers and I'm gonna add a stack on them. And let's see what's the gap between them. It's 28, but I'm gonna round it up to 24 for all three so we don't overcomplicate things. Now I'm gonna select, this is gonna be called the process wrapper and the stack below will be called the headline wrapper. So we have some organization going on. I'm gonna select the process wrapper and I'm gonna set the height to fit content. And now we're gonna start working on this part. So here, how this is structured is we have one stack that's holding all three of them. And then we have three separate stacks for each step that we have right here. So first let's add with F on our keyboard, a simple frame. We're gonna set the width to fill gonna make it way bigger and also I'm gonna increase the gap of the process wrapper to 60 pixels so we have a bit more distance and I'm gonna remove the fill color I'm gonna add a layout vertical and now the gap between these is 26 I'm gonna use 24 because that's what I'm usually used to using um, now inside of this stack we're gonna add another one we're gonna set it to fill I'm gonna remove the fill color. The layout will be horizontal because first we wanna work on this and then on the right part. I'm gonna make it slightly bigger. And now we have, a, uh, you know, let's, let's just actually work on the setup first. So inside we're gonna have one, two stacks. First one will be 16 pixels of width. And the second one will actually be set to fill. Now let's see how much of a gap we have. We have 25, once again, I'm gonna use 24. And now let's just increase the height of these. I'm gonna select, so this is gonna be the uh, process steps wrapper. This is gonna be the step wrapper. And here we have the progress bar wrapper layer. Now inside of this progress bar wrapper, we're gonna enable the layout. It's gonna be uh, vertical and we're gonna have a gap of 20 pixels. So I'm gonna set the gap to 20. And now inside of here, we need a 16 by 16 circle. So I'm gonna click F on my keyboard, draw a simple rectangle, give it a white color and make sure it's 16 by 16. And then radius, I'm gonna add 16 so it becomes a perfect circle. And below that, we will need a line that is three pixels in width. So I'm gonna draw a simple line. Don't worry about the sizing. Drag it below the circle, three pixels. And then the height is gonna be set to fill. And the color, let's see what color we have. We have 21, 21, 21, 21. just like that. So we have our base set up right now. 
uh, what we need to do. So basically we need to draw another frame inside of this frame. We're gonna set the width to three and then we're gonna align it zero on top, zero on the left and the right. And this is actually gonna have a gradient fill color. So I'm gonna set it to the same exact height as our parent layer, which is gonna be a progress wrapper. And this is gonna be a progress line layer. So our progress wrapper is 542 pixels. Let's round this out to 540. And this progress line inside is also gonna be 540. Now inside of this, we are going to add a gradient. It's gonna start from a white color, then some somewhere around the end, we have an orange color. So I'm gonna slide it, slide this over like here, add another point add the orange right here. And then in the end, we have this blue color. So I'm gonna change the dark one to the blue one. And our progress line is pretty much done. Now, uh, you will also notice that the edges right here are rounded. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the progress wrapper and add a radius right here of, let's say 10 pixels. Same with the progress line. We're gonna add 10 pixels. And now uh, we basically need to animate this. So how do we animate this? We're gonna click on the step wrapper and we're gonna go down, we're gonna enable scroll section and we're gonna call this step one. Now we select the progress line, we go to FX, we, need, we click scroll transform. Then we're gonna select section and view, select the middle part, step one. From, we're gonna set the opacity to one and the scale to one, we don't want that to change but we need the offset on the Y axis to be minus 540. And this will bring our line on top. And then the two animation ends up um, at the end. So once we have this done, what should happen is as we start scrolling, the line actually starts appearing. So this part of the animation is done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna select the step wrapper. We're gonna make sure the height is set to fit the progress bar wrapper. We're gonna set the height to fit once again. And then all we need to do is work on the right part of the section. So we're, first we're gonna remove the fill color. We're gonna enable layout. It's gonna be vertical and the gap is gonna be 33, but I'm gonna do 32 cause I like that number a bit better. Um, and now we just need to work on this headline. So I'm gonna click F, draw a frame, set it to fill remove the fill color, and I'm gonna add a layout. It is going to be horizontal because first we are working on this stack that holds the step one and the headline. Once we have that, click F once again, draw another layer inside of it, set it to fill. Height, we're gonna leave it at like 50, but we're gonna fix that later. We're gonna set it to fit content in just a bit. Remove the fill, enable layout, vertical, and gap here is eight pixels. So we're gonna set it to eight. And now inside of this layer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click T. I'm gonna copy the subscribe text, paste it. We don't see it because it's black, but as soon as I pick heading three, we will see it. We're gonna set the width to fill. And now we're gonna duplicate it. And this we're gonna set to P16. And we're gonna copy this description right here. Select the stack. Make sure the height right now is set to fit. And the um, stack that holds it is also set to fit content and the stack that holds this one should actually we're going to leave it like this for now okay let's title the layers because because we're lacking in organization this is going to be the step content wrapper this is going to be the headline wrapper this is going to be the text and now inside of this text we're going to need to work on this step a container. So basically I'm gonna draw a simple rectangle. I'm gonna click Command or Control X to cut it. We're gonna select the headline wrapper and paste it right here. I'm gonna make it slightly wider. I'm gonna remove the fill color. And then basically what we have here is this stroke. So we're gonna add a border, 21, 21, 21. So the radius will be 100. So it's fully round. And we're gonna enable the layout. And inside, we will actually click T, copy step one, paste it, 
and we're gonna select heading three style. And now this container, we're gonna set the width to fit and the height to fit, and we're gonna add some padding to it. So 14 on the sides and eight on top and bottom. So eight, 14, eight, 14. And our step container is pretty much done. Okay, now all we need to do is export all of these images. I'm gonna just move them to the side and I will export them so we can add them to our design. Okay, so I just exported our images. So let's add the first one. Okay, I'm inserting it to the side of our canvas. Now I'm gonna click Command or Control X to cut it. I'm gonna select the step content wrapper and I'm gonna paste it inside of here. And then make sure this, um, this is locked. So the width and height are locked and I'm gonna set the width to fill. And then I'm gonna select the step content wrapper and I'm gonna set the height to fit content. And now our step is pretty much done. I'm gonna select the process steps wrapper and I'm gonna set the height of fit content here as well. And now for the step wrapper, we can simply duplicate this two times. But what we'll have to do is simply select the step wrappers and we're gonna call this step wrapper one. This is gonna be step wrapper two and step wrapper number three. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna select step wrapper two and we're just gonna edit the scroll section to be called step two. Same thing for wrapper three. So we're gonna leave this and it's gonna be step three. And now all we have to do is select the progress line, make sure the scroll transform animation is set to step two here and two, step three right there. And if we play this, I'm just gonna replace the images. And right now, if we preview this, our timeline is pretty much working as intended. Now, all that's left to do in this design is simply add in the correct copy. So I'm gonna do that super quickly. I'm probably gonna speed this up so you guys don't have to watch me do boring stuff. So we have the headline number three, and then this should be step number two, and this should be step number three. Now, one last thing, if you see here, the white dot lights up only when um, you get to it, and usually it would be dark. So what we're gonna do, is we will actually go to the second step and what we'll do is we'll copy this frame and we're going to paste it and we're actually going to insert it inside of this circle if it allows me to do that okay i'm just going to enable layout and i'm going to paste it inside and now this stack will actually be gray dot and this will be white dot inside so the gray dot, we're gonna set it to 21. And then the white dot will actually be with opacity zero. And then we're gonna add an effect. Um, we're gonna add a scroll animation. Layer in view, uh, we're gonna set it to top and we're gonna simply enable the opacity. So it's gonna be from zero to one opacity and we're gonna bring back the opacity here. So let's see if this works. Okay, so scroll animation, set it to center. Okay, let's see why this is not working. Okay, I'm gonna click section in view, step two, set it to middle. And now, now it's not working once again. Oh, so our enter animation is set to one. Okay, we just need to adjust the positioning to top, actually middle, let's, let's try middle. Okay, and now once you get to this step, the dot lights up. And now what we'll do is we'll simply copy the gray dot. We're gonna paste it inside the step number three, we're gonna delete the other frame and we're just gonna make sure that the animation is set to trigger on step number three. And now if we preview this, boom, boom, there we go. So this is a quick intermission for me in the future. I realized I finished the tutorial without optimizing it for mobile, but it's actually super simple to do. You simply 
uh, need to adjust the height of our progress bar. Um, so if you want to adjust it on tablet, you can do it as well, but I think it's looking fine. So I'm just going to do it on mobile. So I'm going to select the progress bar right here. I'm going to set the height to probably 360 or even 320. I think it's nice. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other two steps. Set it to 320, just like this. And then for here, for the third step, 320 as well. And you can also probably adjust the gap here. So I'm going to reduce it to about 20. And the centering, I'm going to keep it center aligned. And now if we preview our project, it's good on desktop. It's good, it's good on tablet. And then it's also good on mobile. Now, one last thing we could do is actually reposition the step container. So I'm going to set it to vertical, I'm, set it, I'm going to set it to the left align. Gap is going to be 20. And I'm just going to position this above our headline. And we're going to do the same exact thing right here. Left align gap is 20, move it above. And here I've already done it. I'm just going to increase the gap. And I think this is already looking good. I'm just going to reduce the size to the step three right here to 16 pixels because that's looking a bit better. And now our mobile version should be looking pretty clean. And again, as you're scrolling, the bar is following you and the dots are lighting up just like they're supposed to. So this pretty much concludes the tutorial. I hope this, this was useful to you guys. If you want to see similar content in the future, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.